What is going on guys? Today we are back with a, another video coming at you and today we are going to do a, another bike build in the home office. So I've got this free agent BMX bike. I actually picked it up on Facebook Marketplace for free. Somebody was posting that it needed some work. They didn't want to get into it and just had to go pick it up off their curb. So I got into the bike a little bit beforehand took the wheels off because uh, he claimed that it was either the bearings on the crank or the bearings in the rear hub were bad. So I kind of took it apart, cleaned it up a bit, just trying to see where it was. And I think the ball bearings in that back hub are no good. But I figured what we'd do is let's fix this thing up, give it a fresh paint job and uh, some other new parts. And I kind of figured why not build a bit of a cruiser style BMX bike, leave the seat post super high, kind of like the 80s would have been, and get rid of some of these other things. Like I don't plan, I can't bar spin if my life depended on it, so there's zero point on me keeping this stuff. But I will run a rear brake, and I figured maybe we could get fun with it, have a little fun with uh, doing a paint job on this one. But anyways, first things first, we are going to get into stripping this thing down and figuring out what the damage is. Just split the link and now we got one chain out of there into our cleanup bucket and I will work on probably taking the cranks off next and moving forward. tomorrow okay so got the bike pretty much stripped down the last thing we really have to do is pop out those bottom crank bearings because those are sealed and they don't seem to really like to move freely. So going to get onto that. There's really no great way on popping them out. The best way that I find at least is uh, just a punch and a hammer. So what I use is I use my bigger hammer, I have a 32 ounce hammer. So kind of heavy duty and then some punches and you just kind of want to go around and slowly work those bearings out. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So yeah, not pretty, but you know, it works. So now that's out of there. Sort of easy, not so peasy, but you get the idea? I'm going to go ahead and get the other one out. Okay, so here we go. Got both of them out. And honestly, from what I kind of felt when I was spinning the crank, I thought maybe these were bad and I'd have to replace them completely, but they seem like they might have some dirt and debris in them. But we're gonna try to clean them up and see if we if we can't just clean them out really good and uh, degrease them and then put repack them with grease and see if they work. But these seem good still. And then of course, um, one thing I forgot to mention is when you are hitting it out of the race, or sorry, the bottom bracket, you want to hit right on this race. You don't want to hit the 
the rubber shield, you want to hit right on the metal. Try to be accurate, that way if you need to reuse it, you can save it. Just a little trick. Now that the frame is completely stripped down, we got the bottom back and bearings out. Everything else is off the bike. Um, we're ready to start thinking about painting it, but I figure I'm going to leave this video at this. We're going to make it a bit of a series. So we'll call this part one, which will be the, the tear down. And then next we'll probably be prepping the frame, getting it ready for paint, doing the paint, and then of course um, reassembly. And we'll also see what kind of parts we get or if we're going to mostly reuse the bike or sorry, reuse the parts that came with the bike and just clean up everything, regrease it, see if we can't make it a good functioning working bike again. But anyways, thanks for watching guys and have a great day.